what could happen if we had batteries in cars that can go 300 miles between recharging? Sounds futuristic? What if I told you it could happen? Or better yet, what if this guy told you it could happen by 2014? We're at Nanosys, is that correct? That's right. And this is Jason Hartlove. Hello, everyone. And you're CEO, president, the top guru here. I am. So tell me what you think is so great about this new battery technology you've got. Oh, we've got uh, two kinds of technologies that we're working on. One, which is an anode chemistry that we're introducing uh, this year, that we have introduced this year, and which our uh, customers will be introducing in battery packs next year. Right. This uh, will increase from the 100 mile range to roughly 140 mile range. Okay. Uh, this is the first step. We have a new material which we're working on, which will be introduced in the 2013 time frame, so show up in batteries in 2014. Right. Which will uh, increase by a factor of two to three overall. So it'll double that. 140 will become about 280. And is this going to cost more? Or is it going to cost less? No, this is all designed to fit within the budgets that people have for going, you know, let's say 50 miles. So drive your car 50 miles down the road today uh, using a, a gasoline-powered hybrid car. It's going to cost you between 3 and $4 because that's what a gallon of gas costs. So right. It's about the mileage that you get. So you know, let's say we all were driving... Hybrids, three bucks for fifty miles. You think your batteries can get there? That's where we're going. That's where we're going. So this sounds like uh, science fiction. How does this nanotechnology stuff work? What this means now with nanomaterials cut to a billionth of the size of a meter, right, is that the surface area that you have to interact with other chemistries is huge by comparison to when you have bulk materials. Okay. This means that for those types of reactions where surface area contact is important, and batteries is one of those, you can actually wind up with much larger interaction surfaces in the same volume. So, same size, a multiple of increased surface area, more power, mm -hmm. longer driving range, no more money. Correct. Well, folks, you just heard the feature of what we're going to be driving around 2014. Jason, thank you, man. Yeah.